First card we have, Leo, is the Queen of Pentacles. We got the Page of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So, Leo, there is somebody who is loyal to telling you what it is that you want to hear, Leo. Whoever this is that is telling you these half-truths, I feel like this person used this for their benefit, Leo, because we got the Nine of Wands right here. This is somebody that could be looking for some form of support, um, Leo. But I am clearly seeing that somebody is like so loyal and dedicated to whatever it is that they always be telling you. You know what I'm saying? It's because, you know, this is something that they're used to. This is something that maybe they always get a get away with in regards of you Leo but I am seeing that they are they're loyal to that like they loyal to telling you what it is that you want to hear Leo it's because they need your help they need some form of support Leo some of you guys this person could be feeling the need to protect themselves from you and that's probably why this person tell you half truths it's something that they could be holding on to, Leo, behind the scenes that you may not know about. Um, whether this is how you feel, or whether this is a, a person, or whether this is a place or thing. But, but we got the Queen of Swords right here reversed. Yeah, this person is very loyal to lying to you. And some of you guys in, is going to end up cussing this person out about something because it's like the only time this person come back around in your life Leo is when they want something that's exactly what I'm saying because we got the queen of pentacles and then we have clarifying that is the queen of swords so some of you guys it's like after you give this person a helping hand this person stopped talking to you for a while Leo become very cold towards you you know um some of you guys this person purposely said it this way where they get something out of you and then they get distant and cold um, after an argument or before an argument, something like that. Maybe y'all start arguing because you do say something about them, you know, maybe it could be not spending time with you and, you know, them not picking up the phone, not want to call you, not want to, you know, text you or anything. But I am seeing that it's like the more loyal you are to this person, Leo, the more cold that they get with you Leo you see what I'm saying and they can become very defensive and try to argue with you and you know it's because like I said this is somebody that that is not telling you everything with this page of swords this person is not telling you everything it's because they're trying to protect themselves and they try to they're trying to get something out of you also so we're gonna see What else do we have, Spirit? We got the Hermit card reversed. So it's like after you get in an altercation with this person or whether you cut them out or they cut you out, somebody go ghost. Somebody go ghost and then they come back around asking for more support. So this is what they do. They back and forth with you, arguing with you, having these excuses and all this other stuff. It's because, like I said, this person got something behind the scenes that's going on that they feel the need to protect from you. You see what I'm saying? Because they feel like if they say something, you know, they're not going to get what they want out of you. So what they do is they purposely stir up some drama, you know, in order to ghost you. And then they come back around again and asking for a helping hand. That's the energy that I'm picking up on, Leo, with your person. Contacts drying out. Oh, my contacts are clean. They changed. We got temperance right here. Yeah, this is somebody that loves keeping you waiting too. They love keeping you waiting, yo. And it's crazy because you got a lot of patience for this person. Like literally, some of you guys could have Sagittarius, Aquarius, Aquarius, or um earth in your chart i'm also seeing virgo but i am getting this energy where it's like the more you get to this person leo the more they grow cold and distant and then they come back ghost you again 
pop back up for your support. You got a lot of patience for this person. I feel like you have been trying to, you know, heal this relationship with this person because maybe you really do love this person, Leo, but I feel like this is somebody that goes back and forth and do the same thing over and over and over again with you, Leo, after they get something out of you. I am getting that. Yeah, it's because your person is not emotionally involved, Leo. They're not really physically, you know, they're not really physically, you know, around you all like that. And on top of that, this person is like emotionally not invested into you. And that's exactly why they do the bulls that they do because this is somebody that's not looking for love or they're just not in love. But, or this could be your energy, Leo. Maybe you could be, you know, doing this to somebody. But y'all take what side y'all on. But I am getting this energy where somebody is like, the more they give, the more cold somebody is to the other person. You know, and they go ghost on that person. Leaving the other person stressed out. Because I feel like they do be leaving you stressed out a little bit, Leo. You know what I'm saying? But... What else do we have, Spirit? You got too much patience for this person. Y'all could be a cross watcher or something. Because I don't think Leo's going to have this type of energy. You'd have that much patience. Could, but it's possible. It depends on what signs you have in your astrology chart. But I am getting that energy where somebody got way, way too much. They put up for way, way too much for way too long. And they just let it build up. Whatever this person has done, they just let it build up. Yeah, we got, wow, all these pentacles. They, this this person using you for money, Leo. They're using you for something material-wise. If it ain't money, it's something. And it's because they're giving it to another person. It's like, we got the six of pentacles right here. This person giving it to another person, Leo, that they invested in behind the scenes. And that's probably why they was trying to, like, protect themselves from something for they didn't want you to know something because, like, like I said, if you open up your mouth about this, you know, if you say anything, that's going to cause a clash, a breakup between y'all for good. But we're going to see. It's not looking good. We're going to see. Ten of Cups. Then I say that. Some of you guys, person is in a relationship with somebody else. I am seeing that. I'm currently seeing that. So it's like the money that you give them, Leo, if this is a money situation, they take that money to go invest in that other that third party because we got the six of pentacles seven of pentacles and then we got the ten of pentacles i mean ten of cups so yeah this is exactly what happens that they do ghost you because they too busy behind the scenes giving what you gave them to another person and like i said leo with the seven of pentacles y'all got way too much patience for this person like literally y'all invested a lot into this person leo but this person already has somebody with the Ten of Cups. This person already has somebody. And that's exactly why I was seeing to have truce with this person. Because this person was keeping that from you. They was protecting something that they had behind the scenes. And it was with that other person. Some of y'all's person could be using you for sex too. It could be both. But I'm seeing that somebody is like literally... Finessing another person, got them loyal to them and everything for no reason, and they sitting here taking what they give them to another person. The benefits there, it's like the benefits that you give them, they give it to another person. Y'all got too much patience for this person, like literally. All this patience. <laughs> Can't see how y'all can do it. Oh, it's been last. Look, this person manipulated you, that's why. And they manipulate the other person too. So other person that they're giving to Leo could be a Gemini, or your person could be a Gemini, but I am getting this energy where this is somebody who this is how they manifest their money by going from person to person and using them. In order to get what they want, they gotta manipulate you. That's exactly what I'm saying. I feel like that's what they do. They in order I'm here in order for them to get what they want, they feel like they have to do some, you know, manipulation, Leo. Because they're trying to invest in someone. Or they're trying to invest in something. Why they with somebody. Well, we're gonna see. Because there's a lot going on. What else? There's too many cards here. 
we just need two more cards. Sneaky. Seven of Swords. It's crazy because you may have been waiting for this person to come at come back at times. And this person ain't doing nothing but being sneaky. We got the seven of swords. Because they in a relationship. Some some of y'all this person may have kids with this person. Of course, not everybody. But we got the King of Wands right here. This is somebody who is very bold what they do. And they happy too. Whatever it is that they benefit off of from, from you, they happy with that. They doing what they do with that person real good and everything. Like literally, they got that person over here happy. Like literally. While they over here giving you the bare minimum, they trying to celebrate with a third party with your benefits. Ain't that something? It's time to avoid this person. Some of y'all is currently avoiding this person right now. But it also could be saying they could be coming back. And I knew it. Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all's person going to end up resurfacing right back around to y'all. Because we do got that King of Wands. And then we got the Eight of Cups reversed. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, Leo. Some of y'all's person going to end up walking away from that um relationship that they may have been going back and forth with you in. That's the energy that I'm seeing, Leo. This person is getting ready to walk away from that other situation. Wow. Because the truth is, they don't love that person either. So, this is somebody that don't love either, neither one of you guys. This is exactly what I'm seeing, Leo. This person don't love neither one of you. This is somebody that just goes back and forth between you and another person you know, reap the benefits of whatever it is that you got going on and invest in that situation or, you know, or just maybe they just didn't with the person because they need a roof over their head for the, for the moment. But this is somebody who is just very sneaky. They build themselves up with whatever it is that y'all, you, you give them. Because all of a sudden, they bo it's, it's boosting this person's ego, this confidence. Whatever it is that you are investing into this person, Leo, you are literally boosting their confidence. You see what I'm saying? A confidence level. Some of y'all's person may got a big... You already know. The, you already know. <laughs> but that's the energy that I'm picking up on. Wow. But I am clearly getting that this person going to end up leaving the other person also and coming back towards you. After the stability. I'm here after the funds run out. So like I said, they may have, they may be doing this to you and her. Or you and him. Whoever it is. Wow. This person cold and bold. How many minutes is this? Yeah, this person cold and bold. Like literally. They just don't care. Self-love. Some of you guys could be alone right now. Like when this person come back, you could be like rejecting them. Some of y'all could be rejecting this person because you're on your self-love journey. But... Basically, it's, it's teaching you how to love yourself. This is, that was just the message that I got. Family concerns. I'm here to stay away from this person. Some of you guys, this person, own family, don't even like that person. And they have a hard time being committed to one person. Abundance is near. Yeah. Once you get away from this person, Leo, that have all these issues going on with their own family and their own their ex. As soon as you get away from this this 
this person, you got a lot of good things coming in, a lot of opportunities coming in for you, Leo. Whether this is opportunity in love or work, money. Spirit saying you're going to need to use discernment with this person when they come back. Because I keep hearing that this person don't even love themselves. They don't even love their family. Or anything. They own blood. All they do is leech off other people's abundance and go about their business. That's exactly what I'm saying. But y'all going to have to use discernment with this person, Leo. This is what I have for you guys. Y'all take care.